Disney Princess Cinderella Read a long story and CD Storybook and CD Once there was a kind and beautiful girl named Cinderella who lived with her cruel stepmother and two selfish stepsisters Anastasia and Drisella Every morning, Cinderella told her little mice and bird friends about her dreams. She wishes my heart makes when I'm asleep. If I believe in them, someday they'll come true. Then one day, an announcement arrived from the palace. The king is giving a royal bow in honor of the prince. Every maiden in the kingdom is commanded to come. The stepsister were trailed and she was Cinderella. Every maiden? That means I can go too. Her stepsister laughed, but her stepmother smiled slightly. You may go, Cinderella, if you do all your work. And if you'd find something suitable to wear. All that day, Stip's mother and stepsister shouted orders at her. Cinderella, mice and bird friends, what sadly? Poor Cinderella. They keeping her so busy, she never get her dress done. And then they had an idea. We can do it. Soon they were happily sniping and stitching to make a lovely dress for Cinderella. When evening came, tired Cinderella tugged up the stairs to her tiny attic room. When she saw the pretty gown they had made for her, Cinderella could hardly speak. Oh, how can I ever? Oh, thank you so much. Dress and ready. Cinderella ran downstairs. Wait, please, wait for me. Anastasia and Drisella saw her lovely Cinderella look and flew into a jealous week. They ripe her dress so straight. That's enough, girls, Lady Trinwin said at last. Don't upset yourself before the ball. It's time to go. Laughing royally, dear friend. Cinderella was heartbroken. She, she ran into the garden weeping. It's no use. There's nothing left to believe in. Suddenly, she heard a cheery voice. Nonsense, child. If you did not believe, I would not be here. And here I am. Cinderella looked up and saw an older woman smiling at her. I'm your fairy godmother. Try your thirst. We must hurry. We need a pumpkin and some mice now for the magic words With a wave of her wand, the fairy godmother turned the pumpkin into a coach and the mice into white horse horses. The fairy godmother hurried Cinderella to her coach. But but my dress Yes, yes, it's lovely. Good heaven, child, you can't go in that. You need a dress. Well, just leave it unto me. What a gown this will be. Pity 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 The fairy godmother waved her wand, and Cinderella rug changed into a shimmering gown on her feet to dangly. Glass slippers twinkle like stars. 
Oh, it's like a wonderful dream come true. But the fairy godmother gives Cinderella a warning. On the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken and everything will be as it was before. Cinderella blew the fairy godmother a kiss, and the coats paid away toward the castle. Meanwhile, at the ball, the grand duke and the king watched the prince greet one maiden after another with a polite but bored expression. Then, suddenly, a hush fell over the pool room. The prince looked toward the grand entrance. A lovely girl in a dress, the color of moonlight, stood there with a eyes on her. It was Cinderella, but her stepmother and stepsister didn't recognize her. Who is she, mother? I don't know, but she seems familiar. Prince Charming knew he found the girl of, of his dream. Me, I have this dance. As the music played, the walls around the ballroom and out into the garden. Soon enough, the castle clock began to chimney. Oh my goodness, it's midnight. I must go. Goodbye. As Cinderella ran, a, ran away, the prince rushed after her. Wait, come back. I don't even know your name. Cinderella dirt through the ballroom and raced down the play palace steps, losing a glass slipper on the way. The clock chimed on. Cinderella jumped into her coats and sped away. Suddenly, the spell was broken. The coach became a pumpkin. The horses turned back into the, into mice, and Cinderella was again dressed in rag. The next day, the king sent out a royal proclamation. Every maiden in the kingdom must try on the glass slipper, and the girl whose foot fits with the prince and the girl whose foot fits well with the prince. Cinderella could not hide her happiness from her stepmother, so Cinderella is the girl the prince seek. Well, he'll never find her. And with that, she locked Cinderella into her attic room. Please, you can't do this. Please, let me out. But the stepmother ignores Cinderella cries. Before long, the grand duke. A royal footman arrived with a glass slipper. The stepmother and stepsister smiled their sweetest smile and Usher came in. But both Anastasia and Drisella were eager to find some way to get their feet to fit the slipper. But though they pushed the shoe, they Neither of the stepsister could squeeze a foot into it. I don't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. Meanwhile, Cinderella Mai's friend struggled to get the key out of the stepmother's pocket with her without her noticing. Then they had to lug it all the way upstairs to the attic. This way up 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 with it. Got to hurry, this light it beneath Cinderella door, she was free. Downstairs, the grand dog knew neither stepsister was the girl she sought. Are there any other maiden in the household? There is no one else. Your grace, just as he turned to leave, Cinderella ran downstairs. Your grace! Your Grace, may I try it on? As the footman carried the slipper to Cinderella, the stepmother strapped him and he fell. The slippers 
smashed into a hundred pieces, the Grand Duke was horrified. Cinderella smiled and reached into her pocket. Perhaps I can help. You see, I have the other slipper. The stepmother and stepsister gasped. With a low bow, bow the Grand Duke slid into Cinderella's dainty foot. It fit perfectly. Soon, wedding bells rang throughout the kingdom as the happily married couple rode away in the royal coach and the royal realized she had been right after all. If you keep on believing your dreams, will come true, and so they live happily ever after. The end.